I have already shown to you guys how to get the sample space of experiments that involve a single object only. So we dealt with simple events. Now, what if two objects are involved in an experiment? How will you list down the elements and how will you determine the events as well as the sample space? So, take a look at this. What if our experiment would involve two coins? Like for example, two coins are tossed together. Are tossed together. How will you determine the number of elements or the number of outcomes? So, in this case, because there are already two objects, let us be using or let us use the FPC. So by FPC, I hope you still remember FPC. FPC stands for the Fundamental Principle of Counting. So how many coins are involved? There are two coins. So you are going to make two blanks that represents the two coins. Two blanks that represent the two coins. So this is for the first coin. This is for the second coin. On the blanks, you are going to write the choices. How many possible outcomes are there for the first coin? You have two. What are these two possible outcomes? The head and the tail. How about for the second coin? There are also two possible outcomes. Then you get the product. Two times two is four. So we are expecting four possible outcomes in this activity. Okay? So let us write the sample space. Okay, let's have the sample space. When the first coin is head, first coin is head, it could be that the second coin is also a head. If the first coin is a head, it could be that the second coin is a tail. If the first coin is a tail, it could be that the second coin is a head. Or if the first coin is a tail, it could be that the second coin will also show a tail. So, how many outcomes are there? Let us count. One, two, three, four. Okay? So, your N of S is equal to four. You can have that. But if you have the difficulty in writing the outcomes that way, you can actually use tree diagram. So, you have first coin, you can have this. First coin, what are the possible outcomes when you toss the first coin? So the first coin might show up a head or it may show up a tail. Then for the second coin, if the first coin will show up a head, it's possible that the second coin will also show up a head or a tail. So with if the first coin will show up a tail, it could be that the second coin will show up a head or a tail. So what are now the outcomes? So what are the outcomes? You will have... The outcomes are head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail tail and when these outcomes are placed inside the braces you are actually forming a sample space and your n of s is equal to 4 so if you have a hard time writing the outcomes immediately a sample space you can do it this way first before you transfer inside before you transfer the outcomes inside the braces okay and now let's have the possible events. Let's say event L is both coins show up heads. Okay, let's have this. 
both coins show up heads. So what are the elements of your sample space? Rather, of your event L. Ang dalawang coins daw ay nag-show up ng heads. So let's go back to the sample space. Always go back to the sample space. Dahil ang elements ng event ay kukunin sa sample space. Okay, ito. Meron bang head dyan? Wala. Meron bang head dito? Meron. Pero, yung isa ay hindi head. Ito ay tail. Dito ay both. So, hindi to pwede. How about this? Hindi rin pwede. Dahil yung isa ay tail. How about this? Siyempre, both of them show up a head. So, what is our N of L? You count. One. Because this is just one element. Okay? So, let's proceed to another event. Let us say, event W is... Okay? One tail, or rather, one coin shows a tail. One coin shows a tail. So, what are the elements of your event W? Yung isang coin daw ay nag-show ng tail. So, asan dyan? One coin. Exactly one coin shows a tail. So, let us put here, exactly. Exactly one coin shows a tail. So, walang tail dito. Meron bang tail dito? Meron. Exactly one. One tail. So, H, T. How about this? Meron ding tail. How about this? Can you include this? No. Why? Because you have it here. Exactly one coin shows a tail. Merong dalawang tail na dito. So, hindi to kasali. Kaya, you close it now. So, what is our N of W? N of W is 1, 2. Now, let's proceed to another experiment. Let's say there are two objects involved, a die and a coin. Rolling a die and tossing a coin. What are the elements of the sample space? So, by using FPC, so this will guide you in determining the number of elements in the sample space. So, merong dalawang objects dyan, so gagawa ka ng dalawang blanks. Dito ay para sa die, yung pangalawang blank ay para sa coin. How many possible outcomes are there in a die? So, a die has six possible outcomes. And what are the six possible outcomes? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And how many possible outcomes are there in, a, in tossing a coin? Two. And what are these? Head and tail. So, six times two is? Twelve. Okay. Now, let us use a tree diagram to show the outcomes. You have die. Then you have coin. So, what are the possible outcomes when you roll a die? You have one, two, three... 4, 5, and 6. When the die shows up 1, it could be that the coin will show up a head or a tail. If it's 2, head or tail. So on and so forth. HT and HT. So what are the possible outcomes? You have okay, let's have this. So, what are the possible outcomes? The possible outcomes are 1H or H1. You can have that 1H, then 1T, or you can have H1, T1, then 2H, 2T, then 3H. 3T, 4H, 4T, 
5H, 5T, then 6H, 6T. Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 possible outcomes when you roll a die and you toss a coin simultaneously. Now, let's make the sample space. Ililista mo lang yung mga outcomes doon. So you have 1H, 1T, 2H, 2T, 3H, 3T, 4H, 4T, then 5H, 5T, 6H, 6T. It doesn't matter if you will have H1, T1, H2, T2. Because, again, as what I said, we are still on illustrating, but eventually, in our succeeding lesson, we will not be dealing with words, or we will not be dealing with the symbols anymore, because we will be dealing with the numbers. So, yun yung mahalaga. Kaya, what is our N of S? This is what is more important. What is our N of S? You count. Then you have 12. That is our N of S. Now, let's have this event. Event Z. Let's say event Z is okay. Event Z is coin shows up ahead and die shows up an odd number okay let's have this event event z the coin shows up ahead and the die shows up an odd num odd number so what are the elements of your z the coin shows up ahead shows up ahead and then the die shows up an odd number so, head and add. This one. Add, then head. So, you will include this. Ito, add, pero hindi head. Pero hindi head. Ito, head, pero even. Ito, walang head. Ito, add, head. So, you will include that. 3H. Ito, walang head. Ito, merong head, pero even ang number. Ito, walang head. Ito, Add, and then head. So, you'll include it. 5H. Ito, hindi kasali. Ito, hindi rin kasali as well as this. You enclose. So, what is our N of C? Let us count. 1, 2, 3. 